okay good day guys you're welcome again to my channel i'm joshua the designer and today i'm gonna give you something amazing i'm gonna give you another tutorial in case you are new to my channel i give amazing content on structural engineering and all that you need to get better as touching engineering designs at large okay so today i will be teaching you how to go about your design software orion csc orion and how to use it to model design and analyze structures i'm going to take you through from the beginning and how that you can model up to two-story building so we're going to be doing that together in this video so as you pay attention you get it all straight so this is um the first thing that pops up after i open my orion software okay so i want to start a new project so i click this so i named this project tutorial so i have this now this is showing me um a dialogue where i can pick templates that i want to use for my designs okay so but you see below here it, it is requesting for you to select whether you want to use an existing project that you have worked on previously and you have registered a template upon it before now or you want to work with a fresh template wherever it is that you design that you decide to use so i want to assume that you've not worked on any template before now and that you are new to the design so i'll take it as fresh okay so what we'll be applying tonight is going to be um bs8110 uk bs8110 okay so i will take that as applicable in my own region okay so i then i import it you have another pop-up section this way and what it's telling you is so what is telling you is to select your sh sheet size your sheet dimension so as you want it to be you can set it okay so i would want to set this okay so then you press ok you're good to go so your sheet will be displayed and you're ready to function on your designs okay so then i want to begin my my process i want to have a two-story building so quickly and how to do it properly as it is supposed to be okay so then um i believe that if you're new to this platform to my channel and you don't know at this stage how to generate a structural arrangement drawing which i call a general arrangement drawing a ga drawing you need to check through my videos i have a video on my channel that tells how to develop a structural arrangement drawing or a general arrangement drawing from an architecture i have it so explanatory and you get it at once i trust me you get it at once so by the time you go through you know how to do that and then you'll be able to transfer whatever you resort to on that video um through that video or on that um general arrangement you can use it to start your modeling your design and your analysis on orion building design system okay so we move on then the first thing i want to do is i want to create my axis on this so this is a symbol for axis and um there are several ways you can go about your axis depending on how good you are with your or how fast you become with your software and how you know how to go around it okay so i can begin to select this one then um i use this label a then I select anywhere on my sheet. I select anywhere on my sheet. Why is this like this? Okay. Then I I drag. You select anywhere, then you drag. But when you press your control, you discover that it becomes straight in the direction where you hold your mouse. Okay. So when you feel like it is enough for you, then you drag. Let me do that again. So I have it here, select anywhere, drag it, 
hold on to your control key hold it down then you release so you have your axis like that so with this one you can right click and offset that very axis um, to a distance that your general arrangement drawing is telling you if it's um, five meters then you can come to this and then click to the side of the offset distance that you want again I can do this and I click it I, I can click it you know that is that is that on that okay so I have my vertical grid lines done all done with this okay so I can select the as is again then I want to do the horizontal grid lines then I name it a I want to function with my alphabet okay so I click anywhere on the sheet then drag it holding down your control key then you drop it so this is it then you can also right click to offset that very axis and um, with an offset distance of five meters like we rightly done then select draw I'm clicking on whichever side that you want your offset to be then you you click and it forms 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 very simple okay so this is one way of doing it and of course this way is kind of um long you know long i can do this in um just few steps in few steps and you you are done with all of these things that we always we took this um the whole time to do okay so i'll show you another alternative to forming this kind of stuff with no stress okay instead of coming to this axis um function here you can just come to this um left hand um, section you find your axis there so by the time you right click it you find something like orthogonal axis generator so this your orthogonal axis generator helps you to form all your grid lines at once with the required um setting okay so let's try something out with it so I right click my orthogonal axis generator then it brings a dialog box for me um, let's try it. so this is it I'll do it again so you see you click this axis here you right click you select orthogonal axis generator then you come to your environment you right click then it brings a dialog box right for you now this direction one axis you see here means the horizontal axis and direction two axis means the vertical axis so by the time you want to form whatever it is you look into it that okay i have four spacing on my horizontal and um, i have three on my vertical maintaining five meters distance or whatever distance it is that your architecture or your general arrangement drawing structural drawing holds so you can alter that but now i'm using five meters spacing on my axis okay so with this one let's see what it's going to look like if i will use orthogonal axis generator okay so i press ok now if you look at this now let me move this down let me move this down so you see that we have we have the same thing as this that we did so we have one two three four one two three four one two three we have one two three you see so this one took me a whole lot of stress this one took me just one step and i'm done so that's the difference between using your manual axis generator and your orthogonal axis generator so you see that okay so having explained that and i believe that you got that so quick so then we will we move on we move on so i get rid of that okay so i'll show you how to insert um how to insert stories and you know i told you that we go from the model to story building today we'll continue in other videos i'll show you how to just um model how to model in this video so we'll be able to continue in other tutorial videos okay so this is how to um insert your axis so i want to indicate the number of stories that I like to have so then I would insert story from here insert story so because it is a two-story building as I told you story OO is 
the foundation story 01 is the first floor and um, story 02 is the second floor so because we just want two story building we just maintain our story 2 so um that should be story 3 that should be story 3 because we have roof also we have our roof so so we have story 00 for foundation story 01 for the first floor story 02 for the second floor then story 3 for the roof okay so that's fine now let's just start to insert what we have then we move okay so this is for the column so when you select your column a pop-up box is shown to you so the section for my column that i want to use let's apply two to five then we apply two to five then for the eccentricity you can just come here and select how you want your column to be then you see this is that's what i want just this i want it to be at the center on both axes so you begin to select where it falls where your column falls on your drawing so i want to have it at this point i want to have it at this point 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 and at this point okay that's cool i have this already okay so then the next thing would be my my beams since i have this i have all of these already and i, have, I can have my beams now so this is my beam now this is my beam this is my beam so and i want to maintain a section of two to five then this is mid span and um, 450 i have this so i can begin to have something like this so you see what we have here now so that's cool i can have this down here that's cool i can have this from here down here that's cool this down here very correct so also these from here to display these also from here to this place this down to this place and this down to this place okay so i have my beams all set okay so i can just put my slab so I want to have a slab of thickness of 150 and um, use a concrete color of 20. Then the load upon my slab, I want to use um, an additional dead load of 2.7 and the impost load of 1.5. Yes, the self weight has been calculated already. So you can just come here and insert all that you need okay so that's fine now now that i'm done with this then i can just include i can come back here and edit story to show the story height for all the floors so i want to maintain three meters for all stories okay that's correct so then i can come and include my beam wall load so i begin to edit beam wall load okay so this one is um 2.87 and um, the wall height now will be you know we have three meters for the whole for the um story height so then if we would apply this wall height then we we'll have to subtract the beam depth from the story height so and that will give us 2.55 meters yes so the wall thickness we have 0.25 so that's cool then I have my beam wall load right on my beam. Okay, so because I want to use this same data of the beam wall load, then I come here, I copy beam wall load, and then I select, I hold down to my shift, 
and I select the last one to highlight every beam that I have in the in the model or in this story. So then I right click again, then I look for paste copied beam loads, then I insert. Okay, so you see that we have all of this now. All my beams are carrying the wall loads now as I want it. Okay, so that's fine. Now I want this kind of model to be on other floors too. So I'll just generate story from story one. I can pick it down to story two. Then I press OK. Then I have what I want as you can see. Then I can do the same from story two down to story three. But I don't want my slabs because it's a roof roof um level and i don't want my okay yes i think that i don't want my slab so let's go and see what we have so my story three this is what we have okay so because i don't want beam wall loads to be as high as this i can do some editing okay so i just come here then i edit beam wall load so i can just have a one meter I wall then I copy beam wall load then I paste on all the beams yes yeah, so I paste on all the beams now let's see what we have now um, with the 3d let's see what we have now that's cool so we have a 3d view let's see what we have so we have something like this so this is what we have now with our 3d okay so we are done with the model of a two-story building this is the first floor this is the second floor then we have the roof level so we are done with the modeling for a two-story building very simple okay so i'll show you how to model how to analyze rather your model now we have the model already so how to begin to design what you have model to provide reinforcement for all of these accurately to be able to give sufficient um, provisions to all elements in reaction to the loading conditions and the purpose to which they are formed yes okay so that will be all for this um, section if you have any question or anything you want me to really alight upon you can drop it in the comment section and i'll do well to respond to you thank you very much thank you for joining so you can just do well to use the like button make sure you subscribe to this channel and share with your friends and all of this is to encourage us to begin to give you more and more content to make you get better day after day okay so stay around more videos coming on orion clc building design systems yeah bye